hi guys welcome back to my two cents and if you're new to my channel i do makeup tutorials hair videos sometimes and perfume videos so if you're interested in any of those please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever i post a video and today i have a collective haul for you guys a perfume collective haul i've been buying perfume constantly I perfumes a lot but it's not necessarily always expensive i always look for the deals you know so i just kind of one off one of them got expensive but most of them they, they're kind of inexpensive maybe 30 dollars maybe $40 maybe even $20 so yeah they're, they're not always expensive so I'm not spending that 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 much money but yeah I have a, I have a collective haul for you guys today and so it's just you know collecting perfumes over time so I don't want this to be a long video I'm not going to go too in depth into the review of the perfume because I want to do that in another video I'm just going to tell you my first impressions of the perfume some of the notes of the perfume and some of them I actually tested the longevity so I'm just going to tell you those also so here are all the perfumes that I have that I bought recently and I'm not going to go in any particular item I'm just going to pick up one let's start with the biggest box this is from Rihanna and it is Rebel Fleur and it's a Eau de Parfum 3.4 fluid ounce 100 ml and she looks so pretty here she makes me want to cut my red hair like this her hair is like a burgundy ish reddish and i like it plus i like them lashes there i should think them which lashes that you have um, because i like it i like it a lot this is it right here it's the 3.4 fluid ounce and it's a gold and black perfume right here i'm not sure how i feel about the packaging it's kind of weird when it whenever you have to like spray like it feels weird it feels weird in my hand so i'm not really fond of the packaging but uh, it's pretty good i like it and it does last it lasts um i wouldn't say a moderate a moderate amount of time i think it lasts maybe five hours six hours on my skin i think it does the first spray you definitely get the coconut it's a very coconutty perfume it's like it's red berries so it's red berries and it's um plum and peach but it's definitely a fruity coconutty patchouli perfume and i do like it it's sweet plus it's powdery plus it's patchouli and i really like most of my fragrances have patchouli in them not all but most and i really do love a patchouli perfume especially a patchouli heavy perfume and this to me is definitely a summer i mean you can wear it anytime like i wear my perfume anytime but this smells so tropical and summer and fruity and powdery so it's definitely a tropical perfume and i do like it and i like the amount of time that it lasts on my skin also so again this is rebel fleur okay so next is this red box right here red and gold box and this is from agent provocateur and it's called fatal intent and it's a eau de parfum and this is the 3.4 fluid ounce 100 ml and this is it right here i really love the packaging it looks so fancy you know I really like the packaging. I really don't really care for the cap. It's very light and cheap feeling, even though it's very, this is probably the inex most inexpensive one that I have today, but I really don't like the cap. It just feels so, this feels nice and heavy for what I, what I paid for it. So the cap could have a little heaviness to it, but other than that, I like the packaging. And this is from Agent Provocateur. This is, I think that is a, a lingerie company. So something similar to Victoria's Secret along those lines, I think. I haven't heard about this before. I actually watched a perfume review or a perfume girl that I like to watch. A person who does perfume tutorials, perfume reviews named Demi Rawlin and she said she loved this and she, the way that she described 
this perfume it felt like I had to have it and I must say the first time I smelled this I wasn't a fan it kind of made me feel like whoa body like you know but I think it's because of the licorice note in it I've never smelled a licorice heavy perfume and it kind of smells feel like wait what's that like you know the first time I smelled it I was like okay like that's how I felt the first time I smelled this and it's a very sweet perfume but and you definitely get the licorice if you don't like licorice I do not recommend this one it's a very sweet deep perfume it has licorice it has peppers chili peppers I believe it has vanilla in it so if you don't it's a very warm spicy sweet perfume and again if you don't like licorice I do not re recommend you to try this perfume it's very licorice heavy like it's the first thing like the top top note the first thing I can smell is the licorice describe this perfume sweet floral and spicy again this wasn't expensive for the 3.4 ounce I think I paid $19 I believe or $18 for this if I'm not mistaken I'll put it on the screen I think that's what I paid for it and for the Rihanna I paid $25 for that one my next perfume is from Sofia Vergara and I hope I'm saying her name correctly the lady from Modern Family yeah she so this is love from Sofia Vergara and I think she has two versions of this I think she has the original and the love version I think I'm definitely gonna buy the love version because I really do like this perfume again this is the 3.4 ounce bottle and this is it right here I think the bottle is very 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 sexy and mysterious and doesn't even look like a celebrity perfume you know and it feels really heavy the only thing I hate about this bottle is that the cap easily to I can easily come off see this is a sweet floral vanilla perfume again I, def I again I love a vanilla perfume vanilla in a perfume just makes it come together you know it's a very sweet florally perfume it's nothing revolutionary but it's just a very sweet pretty perfume to say the least so it's a very sweet everyday pretty go to work go have lunch go run errands it's a very everyday pretty fragrance the longevity of it I think it lasts it's not that great I think it lasts maybe about three hours on the skin but it lasts longer if you apply it to your clothes so if you want your perfume to last longer sometimes they do last longer whenever you whenever you apply them to your clothes but this is a very sweet pretty everyday perfume next I'm not going to really talk too much about this perfume because I already I already showed it in my last video and, and this is Dolce & Gabbana the only one and you know how I feel about this perfume from my last video and this is a very sweet gourmand caramel coffee perfume but I don't really like it and if I run out of this perfume I definitely am going to buy the bigger one because I really do like it I don't want to run out again this is Dolce & Gabbana the only one and yeah I like this perfume so next this is from Jimmy Choo and this is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo EDP and this is the perfume that I bought recently to test it out to see if it's it if it can par against me EDP which okay this is the bottle right here it's a very it's a it's a darker bottle with darker juice in it so the, the one that I actually have the EDP version it is a more clear juice bottle and it's this is a very pear and patchouli heavy perfume when I first spray this when you first spray this you definitely get the pear and the patchouli it's a very patchouli heavy perfume like a very warm deep patchouli it's not it's not light at all I remember the first time I tested this out I made the mistake 
of wearing this in the day it's not a day perfume it was a hot day so this is definitely not a hot day perfume i sprayed a lot and i went on the road in the afternoon around 12 o'clock and after an hour i could not smell anything i could not smell anything but i got home around after three after four and after i got home i smelled it i was like what like i wasn't able to smell it at all in the sun in the warm hot day but after i got home in ac i actually smelled it so it can be any season but just not a day perfume so any night perfume i do really like it and i do love the smell of the pear in it i just prefer my edt version i do like it i really really do like it i just prefer my edt version it's more airy this is more deep and dark not dark but it's more deep and warm but this perfume in january it's i i've loved it ever since and i definitely need to get the flankers of it because i need it like i just feel like i need it these last two perfumes by the way so this one is Mongrelon by Guerlain and this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the first one, the original, and this is the 3.3 Fluid Ounce. I love everything about this perfume. I love the bottle. I love how it smells, the longevity. Let's look, let's look on it, like, look at it. It's so, it's like, look at this. It's a very, I love this perfume. Like, I love this perfume so much. It honestly, it's in my top five. It's in my top five. And I, I've only owned this for like a month, but it's definitely in my top five. I like it, Bay likes it. It's perfect, perfect for date night. And it's so romantic, so powdery so cuddle ready you know it's one of those perfumes like if you if you want a little something something wear this perfume because this perfume it screams romance nobody can tell me otherwise this perfume screams romance it's a very vanilla forward perfume a very romantic floral perfume so this perfume has bergamot it has rose jasmine vanilla and patchouli it lasts so long on my skin up to eight hours um it's you definitely you definitely get vanilla if you're not a vanilla fan i would not recommend you to have this perfume if you don't like vanilla in your sense do not buy this perfume it's a very powdery vanilla like a powdery vanilla i wouldn't recommend you to buy the scent if this perfume if you don't like vanilla so for my not last but the last biggest bottle perfume and this is the most recent perfume i bought this perfume last week um when i went to bijou jamaica to test out male perfume for my valentine's day video i saw this and i knew i wanted it it was in one of my cards online and i said hmm i wonder if i like it because mostly i blind buy my perfumes it's not good but i know my, i know what i like so i know what to blind buy and i was like hmm i wonder if i really do like it as the notes suggested and i smell it and speechless like speechless like at first i smelled the first one the original one and then i i wanted to buy the original i wanted to buy the original one at the same time but i said you know what i'm gonna smell the flanker girl i was like excuse me <laughs> like excuse me like this is one of those perfumes that I definitely have to buy the other versions of just like the mongrel on definitely i'm talking about scandal by night by jean paul gautier and this perfume i bought this perfume for 86 dollars and it's the what's this it's the 50 ml the 1.7 ounce i didn't have to buy it but it was just one of those perfumes that i couldn't leave at the store like it, i had i had like a hundred dollars that 
you know I got and you know when some you know when you get money and you necessary you don't really budget for the money so you just have an extra hundred dollar that was what this was I just had an extra eighty six dollars and I bought it even though online I could have bought for like six dollars six five seven dollars but what's ten dollars more you know because I was going to buy it I definitely was going to buy it but it was right there in front of me why not so I bought this for eighty six dollars out here in Jamaica and I do not regret it I love this perfume so much like it is other than the one girl on this is my second favorite perfume currently and that's saying a lot I have a lot of perfume so yeah so it opens up like this and this is it right here the perfume look at it like look at this it's a very sexy perfume as you can probably tell and the juice oh my god the juice in this the juice in this it is a very gorgeous perfume I've never used that word to describe a perfume but this is a very gorgeous beautiful sticky gourmand perfume like you can tell some really like it the way I might describe it like stickiest smelling perfume that I have it's a very honey sweet sticky like when you wear this you feel like bees are gonna follow you like the way this sticky sweet Of this perfume it's very heavy and this is this has some weight to it but this I love the, the you see that mm -hmm. that's me every day because I'm clumsy anyways I had to recommend any perfume from these ones that I spoke about today it would definitely be this this is worth all the sniff and all the coins I'm telling you this is worth the coins it is worth the coins you won't be disappointed if you like sweet a sweet scent I definitely recommend this one I mean I would recommend the Mongrelon also but this is this is very different this is more a romantic date night cuddle perfume and this is this is you know what you want and you want it now so this one is I know I want I want it right now so this one you you are you are insinuate maybe you know I cannot sure like but this is like right now give me it right now like this is what scandal by night is saying I'm not sure about the scandal scandal but scandal by night is saying let's go Okay, so for my not so huge bottles of perfume, this is a sample that I got from Beijing, Jamaica, and this is Bulgari Rose Goldia, I think it's pronounced. I'm not really sure, but this is Bulgari Rose Goldia, and it, this is the Blossom Delight. It's a a floral rose musk, a modern signature, captivating the feminine essence and vibrating with a new sparkling and assertive energy. This is a very rose forward perfume. If you don't like rose, you won't really like this. I do like this perfume. The only downside about this perfume, it doesn't last long on my skin. Since this has it has rose, it has bergamot, it has vanilla. It's a very musky, woody perfume. I do like it, and if the longevity was better, I would definitely buy this, but because it's not really there I won't I don't really know if I, I'm going to buy this but I do like it maybe in the future but for right now I don't think I'm going to buy this one it doesn't last it sucks the longevity sucks I think it lasted an hour on my skin and that's not good I don't, I'm not going to spend my coins and this doesn't last more than three hours don't make sense Okay, so this two last perfumes are from Scentbird. I bought two perfumes from Scentbird to sample. And this is, I think, 8ml, an 8ml container sample thing. And the first one is from Versace, and this is called Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette. I think they have an Eau de Parfum version, 
and this one i was highly 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 disappointed in because this was in my uh, walmart cart and i was this close to checking it out this would have been the first perfume that i blind bought that was disappointing i'm not sure how to explain this perfume it's it says let me just tell you what it says it said it's a fresh spicy white floral coconut warm spicy woody perfume so it has amber musk sandalwood orange blossom cardamom ginger gardenia and peony okay so this perfume you definitely 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 100 get the coconut in there so you definitely get the coconut in there the spicy aspect of the perfume but why is this so disappointing it smells like bug spray it smells like bug spray like it smells like insect spray like there's a insect thing towards it. i'm not sure if it's the ginger i'm not sure if it's the cardamom i'm not sure if it's the i'm not sure if it's the pepper it also has a pepper note in it i'm not sure if it's the pepper the cardamom or the ginger but it has a bug spray aspect to it and i've watched so many videos <coughs> it's very strong i've watched so many videos that they love this perfume you know and i read the notes of like okay it's a different type of set of notes for me so i may like it but i definitely don't like it like i i, I don't think i like it not sure of the edp version but i know for the edt i do not like this it's very bug spray heavy bug spray so this is one that i'm not going to buy again this is a crystal noir from versace and for my last perfume this is from dolce and gabbana and this is the let me try to pronounce this correctly <laughs> this is the l'imperatrice eau de toilette so it has a little wording on it right there so I think it's Limperatrice or the toilet so for this one now I actually by the way Sembrad told you that you could get like 150 sprays from this little sample here I believe they told you 150 sprays I use this twice I use this this twice so I'm nearly know 150 spray but okay so first smell you get the raspberry you get the kiwi you get the rhubarb it has rhubarb in there it's a very it's not i don't really get the muskiness of the perfume it's mostly a fruity perfume so it's a sweet fruity perfume i mostly get the watermelon and the kiwi it also says it has pepper in it and peony and jasmine not peony jazz it also says it has jasmine and sandalwood i don't really get the sandalwood and musky aspect of it but i do get the kiwi the watermelon and the rhubarb i don't really get the pepper in this in this perfume but i do really like this and i definitely see myself ordering the full size and it's not expensive i think the full size is for 35 dollars the 3.3 is for 35 dollars so i'm definitely going to buy it because at 35 dollars i'm really love it like you know this is a very this is an, another very everyday fragrance it's a you know if you want to smell fruity and sweet and innocent yeah i would definitely call it like an innocent everyday perfume okay so again this is Limperatrice by Dolce and Gabbana. Okay guys, so that is it for all of my perfume collective haul that I've been, you know, gathering up since the late December, January and February. So hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're a perfume buyer like I am. Let me know the last perfume you bought and let me know if you're planning to buy any of these perfumes i'll have everything listed below where i buy them how much they cost 
and trust me the only expensive expensive one was the scanner by night which was for 85 86 dollars i believe but that was in jamaica and jamaica expensive so you can find it online cheaper maybe for like 50 dollars six dollars maybe and the mongrelon was 65 dollars i believe and this was i bought this on la belle perfume but you do have the smaller version you don't have to buy the 3.3 like i do so you definitely can get them for a cheaper price and yeah everything else is affordable less than 50 dollars so everything is less than 50 dollars so hey okay, guys let me know what are your thoughts down below let me know how you liked this video and let me know if you bought any perfumes recently so let me know if you want any detail in depth video of any of these perfumes i will definitely do that for you and yeah guys those are my two cents and i will see you next time